I was invited to the Women Mayors of America White House Conference in Washington, D.C. at the White House, and I received an email. The town clerk helped me, and we responded to it and got collected some information, checked on it to make sure it was real, because it was very exciting, but you know, you never know about things, and so filled out the information, numerous um, background information to allow me to get on the site and I went. It was great. There were mayors there, women mayors from 27 states, and I believe there was a total of about 90 that had attended both sides of the aisle. There were Republicans and Democrats and Independents. It was wide range, wide representation for the state and for the political parties. Um, Thursday morning, we went to the White House and had a kind of behind the scenes White House tour, which was really great. And we went through massive amounts of security to, <laughs> to get in and went in. I'd never been to the White House, so it was very exciting. And I went all through and looked at things and it looks just like it looks on television. It was really thrilling to get inside and see the inside. I'd never been in and be on the grounds of the White House. It was really very, it was just the coolest thing. In the afternoon, there was a series of, let's see, it started at one. The tour took a good bit of the morning, the White House tour. Then there was a break for lunch, and then in the afternoon, there was a series of meetings and panel discussions. And the first one was Ms. Karen Pence. The second lady was gonna speak first, and she did not end up coming out first. And so I thought maybe something had happened and she was unable to be there after all. And um, I knew they had said something about her coming actually to North Carolina <clears throat> to speak to at a military base and we had just experienced Hurricane Florence. So I thought maybe her plans had changed and she's just not gonna be able to be here and, and it just, sometimes that happens. It's because they jumped down in the um, itinerary. But then after that, they said they had some actually, um, someone special to introduce the second lady and it was the uh, vice president. He probably spoke to the group 15 or 20 minutes. It was a good little, it was more than just I want to introduce my wife. He talked about the things that they're doing, things that the, this administration is doing that are going to help municipalities and communities, um, different programs and things that are available, things that are happening that um, impact us. The biggest takeaway, honestly, I think was I felt very much like I had an advocate that I could call if there's something that we need. And it was nice to know they gave me a big list of um, contact information, email, telephone numbers, and everything to communicate with them depending on what our needs were. They were very um, hands-on. They called me by name. They knew, they were like, yes, here, Miss Gray, come over here. We we're going to talk to you about this. Them expressing their availability to help us if there's something that we need. It wasn't just a conference to say it was a conference. It was very informative. I got a lot of information about how to, different kinds of programs the town can apply for, how to arrange applications to make it favorable for the town, and also just things that this group is trying to do to accomplish to help with economic development, housing, schools, the, the same things that we, we talk about here in Wendell every day.